Greetings folks, it's the 14th of December 2020 and we're looking at the southwestern Pacific where there are two tropical cyclones either side of Fiji sandwiched in the middle. Over here is New Caledonia and up here is Vanuatu. Let's take a look at these. Both tropical cyclones have now been named and they've got four letter names. We've got Yasa and Zazu. Great names. Zazu is heading off in this direction out into the open ocean and according to the JTO JTWC it does not look like it's intensifying and will stay a tropical storm. So let's focus on Yasa. The JTWC track for Yasa is a bit of a mess because the storm is slow moving and seems to be going around in circles. Eventually they do have it spiraling off and coming in towards Fiji, but with that track I guess there's a lot of uncertainty. Here are a selection of model tracks which give you an idea of the uncertainty. They're all kind of spiraling it off towards Fiji, but you can see that actually most of them miss the main island. Taking a look at an example model, here is the Hurricane Wharf. At the beginning of the forecast it is a tropical storm in the model forecast. As we go ahead, it intensifies to become a hurricane strength system, although it is already a hurricane strength system according to GTWC. But anyway, as we go ahead, it does level out a little bit and then it intensifies to become a major hurricane strength system by Thursday and heads to the currently just to the west of the main island, the largest island of Fiji, and coming extremely close to that smaller island as a major hurricane strength system that would be category 3 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson scale. Given this and the uncertainty in the tracks it looks likely there's a very favorable environment, high sea surface temperatures, good outflow, low shear and a major hurricane strength landfall is possible in Fiji given the uncertainty and the ways out and distance out in the forecast that this is. Looking at the intensity guidance it does look like Hurricane Wharf is on the higher end of the models, having it at a Category 3 as we saw in the simulation. Most of the models are keeping it weaker, Category 1 or Category 2, but as we've seen, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center are liking it at a Category 3 hurricane strength landfall. So time to get prepared, hopefully it will miss, but it's quite possible that this will hit Fiji as a major hurricane. Let's get ready folks. The scale that I've used in this video is the Saffir Simpson scale. This is different from the Australian scale, so you will hear different intensities in other locations. A three major hurricane means that well-built frame houses may incur major damage and you can read the rest. It's a serious situation and higher intensity is possible too. And I'm not just saying that, the maximum potential intensity in the area is category five. And in the blues, that's category five in the winds and in the pressure. So if the storm reaches its maximum possible intensity given the thermodynamic environment, it could be category five. So category three, four, five, two, one. We'll just have to wait and see maybe in a couple of days. Let's wrap this up quickly with a look at the latest polar orbiter made earlier today, this afternoon. And we've got Zazu over here and intensifying Yasa over here. Looks like Zazu is covering, bringing rain and showers to Tonga. American Samoa is up here with Yasa on this potential track towards Fiji. I will see you in the next one. Let's keep an eye on this. I'll report back later.